And uh, recently we have seen a press conference which was held by Jim Kunaka, a former ZANPF politician in Harare, who told a, t- a news conference last week that Mnangogo should honor an alleged 2017 coup agreement and hand over power to Chiwengwa. Kunaka went on to say that they have agreed that Mnangagwa would rule for five years and then he will hand over power to Chiwenga to rule also his own term. But he also went on to say Mnangagwa must honor what he agreed with Chiwenga that he would rule for a single term. But it they also went on to say that Mnangagwa is not honoring to that and Mnangagwa is refusing to hand over power and that they should stop their publicity stunt that he and Chiwenga are united and Chiwenga may, Chiwenga may do the same and that they were not fooled by this publicity stunts. He also went on to say that there was a serious conflict between these two and everyone in ZANPF is telling uh, Mnangagwa that he should step down and hand over power to Chiwenga. And also in the statement which also followed, um, which said that um, about Kasukwere, which was announced by Charamba on Twitter, where you said that Kasukwere, who served uh, in many uh, ministerial positions under Robert Mugabe, and who left the country during the coup town and is living in South Africa, should be the one who should come and lead the ZAN PF. And he said he is better than the these two other people, Mnangagwa and Chiwenga. And he said that it is likely that ZAN PF will lose the 2023 elections if Mnangagwa is the one who is in power. So that's the information which was just circulating and I just wanted to give you an update about the information which was said by Jim Kunaka.